Hello and welcome to another Lawn Farm video. Today we're introducing our brand new die set stitch trails and this die is so cool because it leaves a little stitched trail that you can add to planes or birds or you can make treasure maps or just add cool stitched details to your cards and I love that there's all these different designs with the hearts and the little loop-de-loos and everything and that stitching detail is just so beautiful. You can see it up close just how gorgeous it is on that cardstock. Now one of the really cool things about this set is you can kind of move it around your page wherever you need it or wherever you want it to be. So in this case I'm going to layer a bunch of little stitch dies here just so you can see how fun it is to play around with them and kind of see what you can create or kind of create cool patterns or use them to follow a little flying critter or something. So there's a lot of fun things you can do with them. So I'm going to hold them in place with some low tack tape and then run them through my die cut machine. And then you'll see when I remove those dies, I just love this because it's this really cool reveal with this really awesome, like bold stitch detail. Now I thought it would be fun to create a card with these and there is this amazing card that Elise made and so I asked her if I could make it for this video and she said yes. So that's the card we're going to be making today. So I'm stamping out a bunch of paper airplanes and clouds from the plain and simple stamp set. So I'm going to stamp out six airplanes, a bunch of clouds, and then I'm going to add some smiley faces to those clouds. There's all these smiley faces in the plain and simple stamp set, and there's even rosy cheeks in that stamp set. So I'm stamping those all out in guava ink, and then I'm going to use my Copic markers here to add some color to these fun paper airplanes. We're going to be coloring these in a rainbow order today, so I am keeping it simple to two colors for each paper airplane since I'm going to be coloring so many of them. And so I'm adding the shading kind of where the paper would be folded and along the outside edges just to give a little, little extra something. And I just love coloring in rainbow order. It's just so fun to seeing it all come together. And when I have uh, two markers that are a little bit further apart from each other, what I like to do is touch the light marker to the dark marker. You'll see that I'm going to do that now, and that's going to create the medium shade blending my light and my dark markers together so it's like getting three shades in one and then here I'm just going to take a nice light aqua marker and just go all the way around the edges of the clouds nice and simple but it really gives them some nice definition then here I'm using the coordinating dies and I'm going to hold those in place with some low tack tape and run them through my die cut machine until I have all of my images all cut now here I'm using the largest of the outside in stitched rectangles and so I've cut that from some white cardstock and here I'm layering all of my pieces until I have them in the right place because I'm going to go ahead and start lining up my stitched trail. So everything's just kind of temporarily there in place and I'm going to find the best way to line up these great stitch trails. So here I'm using that nice long one with the heart and I'm going to hold that in place with some low tack tape and then I'm going to start from the bottom kind of working my way up after that. So I'm going to hold that little one in place and you'll see just kind of using lots of different styles of the stitch trail so that it looks really cool and different when you run them all through the die cut machine. So I ran that through the die cut machine and I you can see the really pretty stitch detail that we have for three of our paper airplanes. So now we need to fill in the other three. So I'm going to line up all of those paper airplanes again just for placement there so that I can start lining up some more of the dies. So in this case I'm going to use that little shorter heart there to line up on that plane and that's one of the reasons why I love that there's so many different sizes of trails in the set because depending on what you need you can kind of mix and match these. And then there I'm going to fill in my last one there for my yellow airplane and run that through the die cut machine too. And I just love how beautiful it looks with the stitch detail of the rectangle and then the stitch trails too. So here I am stamping your awesome plain and simple from the plain and simple stamp set which is such a fun sentiment and then I've laid everything in place here again so that I can stamp out a bunch of hearts in all around this card in that guava ink that I stamped their little rosy cheeks in and so I think those hearts just add so much fun cute detail and now that I have everything in place I can start adding some foam adhesive to the back of all of my images and then lining those up with those cool little trails. So I'm going to line up my cloud and then I can finish all of my paper airplanes there and then line up my clouds that are going to be on the left side. I just love how they're all looking at each other. It's so cute. 
Okay, so next I'm going to take some pattern paper here from the Perfectly Plaid Rainbow because it's going to go along with my rainbow paper airplanes. And I'm going to trim this down to standard size 5.5 by 4.25 and, and create a card base to match it. And then all that's left is layering all these layers. So I'm going to take that really happy and fun pattern paper there and then layer my paper airplane scene on top of that. And this card just makes me happy. Those stitch trails are the perfect detail and that rainbow is order is just so fun and gorgeous. So thank you to so much to Elise for letting me recreate this card today. And then I wanted to show you some other quick ideas that you can do for the stitch trails. So it's really awesome for making treasure maps, which I did in the Ahoy matey video so you've got to check that one out it's really good for planes like we did today and it's really great for flying critters too so here we have some little bees and ladybugs and it's really cute for those so you could have a lot of fun with these and then we have some gorgeous cards by the design team so I love this card by Audrey it's so beautiful and that stitch detail just adds so much Lynette created a really awesome treasure map with Ahoy matey with the stitch trails and then she also created this really awesome plain and simple card with that stitch trail too. And then here's that card I was talking about earlier that I made in the Ahoy Mini video. And it's such a cool way to add just a beautiful stitch detail. So I cannot wait to see what kind of cool ways that you guys come up for using this set. So make sure to share it with us. Thank you so much for watching today and have an absolutely amazing day. Bye.